It's another day in the Masai Mara, and the wildlife viewing has been amazing. Every creature, small and large, as beautiful as one can imagine. But those that know me personally know my fascination with big cats. So my goal for this walkabout are the cats of the Masai Mara. It takes a trained eye to spot these tiny beauties. In the tall grass of the savanna and in the shadows, the camouflage is incredible. The lion sleeping in the head because of the sun, the day of the rain. You can find any animal going all the way around the plain. It's now the migration season and the number of animals is amazing, both grazers and predators. Lions usually live in groups of eight to 15 cats. And in the wild, their lifespan is an average of 12 to 16 years. We were lucky enough to have spotted three lionesses taking a break from the hot sun. This particular lioness decided to sit in the sun, so I pulled out my sketchbook and I drew. Watching lions in the wilds of Africa to me is exhilarating. The passion for my love of these hunters immediately makes me take note of their amazing design, their movement, their landmarks throughout their entire anatomy. In the evening, at the tent, I drew by candlelight and reflected on everything I saw. But there is one lion I am hoping to see and to draw, a large big male who is photographed and talked about by many. So I asked my Maasai guide about him and the prides. Uh, in the Maasai Mara, is a large area. It's about 510 kilometers square. And maybe just to talk of uh, uh, the area that we normally drive along, mm -hmm. we have around eight different prides controlled by the musketeers. Uh, Scarface is the dominant male of the musketeers. Mm -hmm. That's why. And it's also the oldest lion we have in the territory. I mean, in the in the whole territory. It's the one who takes care of the five, the eight territories, uh, the eight pride that I, I mentioned. Later in the day, we saw two more of the musketeer coalition. Snakes come out in the hot? No. no. Uh huh. Oh, very hot. Too hot, even for snakes. Very, too hot. You can hear that the snake inside the, the swamp. Oh, okay. <laughs> Today we travel north, taking in a different view and hitting the off-roads to try and catch a glimpse of a leopard.
Leopards are solitary animals and very secretive and pound for pound strongest of the big cats. We spotted a male leopard and in jumped an amazing surprise, a beautiful female. Male and female leopards will keep each other company during the mating season, which is only for a small number of days. So this was an amazing thing to witness. And just as fast as she came in, they disappeared. We also spotted the female cheetah surveying the area where she caught an African hare the day before. The cheetah is considered Africa's most endangered big cat. One of the many beautiful experiences in Africa are the wild herds of elephants. An animal that once observed will touch anybody's soul. As the evening closed in, the lions started to be active, to roam and take advantage of the cooler weather for the hunt to start. There is definitely a feeling of awareness that is present in all of the prey species. There is one thing that is needed during wildlife watching and in all of my walkabouts, and that one thing is patience. An African lion hunt is something I have always witnessed in films, but never in person. Emotions run through as in every hunt. Being a falconer, I have witnessed the predator-prey relationship for many years. I'd never celebrate the death of an animal, but admire the tenacity of both species. If one animal gets away, another goes hungry. If caught, then that predator feeds, whether with a hawk or an eagle, or in this case, a lioness and her cubs. Nature is both beautiful and cruel. This Manu walkabout has been one that I will never forget. It was life-changing, humbling, and super inspirational. Its beauty unmatched. As an artist, seeing the animals that I draw or paint in their wild habitat is an experience that adds to what I create. The colors, the smells, the feeling of being there in Africa is unsurpassed. That's the beauty of travel. But for me, it's the outdoors, the wildlife, something that I feel should be protected for future generations.